Kevin. RJ is going to start. Yo, it's the, it, this is number three pick. That's the thing, too, this right? It's number three it's draft so pick. It's yeah. been a tough offseason. We need a feel good story going. The rookie? Yeah, yeah, so for people we track, like, I saw like 40 from, from three is, is, is damn good. It's like damn good. Yeah. It's not just, oh, yeah. it's so, damn good. Man. Two years in, man, with everything going on, Doc's been there doing his thing. Steady. Went to it's the GD, steady, did his thing, in. came out last week. All right, let's get into the two dog rotation. Ooh. One of the most important camp battles. Man. This is an underrated time. one, I think. Yeah. yeah. I feel like you got people RJ talk- coming yeah. in. Mm. Rookie. Right? Yeah. You got Wayne Ellington, who was acquired. Yeah. Reggie Bullock. What, he's gonna, what do you think? He's going to play more two, more three? Well, if he's he healthy first. You got to see yeah. when he yeah. plays. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, he's not. He's knocked down two, so you can see right. him at the two. You can see him at the right. three. But he's, he's taking some minutes. Right. Yeah. And, and then you got our guys. Yeah. Whole team dot. Whole team dot. Iso zone. Iso zone. I, you got, and you know, you know, it's funny. Goal, if man. if Frank hits a shot, he probably playing some two. Yeah, I mean, so I, like that's up that's, to that's, five, and that's six. Even that's more six guys. Why I think I Frank is out. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, I don't think he's even in. But I'm just saying, you know, it's so many people. Yeah, yeah. And listen, don't sleep on my man Wayne Ellington. I've been yeah. telling people this. I mean, t- listen, this guy played 28 minutes a game for Detroit last year. They made the playoffs. He can he can hit the three. He's probably the best shooter on the team. Probably the most consistent. And too. That's where things are gonna get tricky. You that's yeah. people been putting him tricky. at the back of the rotation. Like yeah. they didn't even count him. RJ yeah. and so I'm like, listen, I don't be, I would not be shocked if it's like we need the shooting. Wayne Ellington's out there. So, so. who do you start first? <sighs> right, who are you starting in in uh, There the is game? an argument for you, every shooting guard guy. on this team. There's, a, there's an argument <laughs> so for everybody. I say I, I gotta Damn, this is tough. Whole team dot. You go dot. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Okay. So, listen, okay. RJ's my guy. And this isn't even that. I think RJ's obviously going to be someone. Yeah. I like the idea of RJ and Knox possibly coming off the bench together simply because mm. I like taking a bit of pressure off of RJ, right? And I like him. I think he's someone who I don't think he's going to be phased by either whatever happens either way, right? Yeah. Dot, to me, kind of earned it last year. He played two years in, man, with everything going on. Dot's been there doing his thing. Steady. Went to the GD, steady, did his thing. In. Came out last year doing his thing. Now, mm-hmm. I said earlier that Dot could be in the doghouse. So this is kind of like a personal thing, right? But mm-hmm. I'm looking at it. If you got Dennis Smith, you got Dot at the two. You're not worried about Dennis Smith and RJ, any issues with spacing. spacing. Right. If you got Morris at the three, you're not worried about Kevin's defense. You get the shooting. Randall at the four, Mitch at the five. It's a bit yeah. more balanced. It's a bit more Kind of works, right? And then <laughs> I like, I kind of like RJ and Knox coming off the bench together. Yeah. Young guns, let's get it. Now, I don't know where that leaves Iso Zo. So, the truth is, I probably I expect RJ yeah. to start for real, you know. Yeah. But if Dot starts, I'm like, I kind of like what I'm, you know, what conceptually was going I on. I feel like, I feel like RJ. I've been killed I for that like same lineup. Gonna, I feel like <laughs> RJ is gonna start. Yo, it's in the, it's, this is number three pick. That's the thing too, it's right? Number three He's draft so pick. It's yeah. been a tough off season. We need a feel good story going in. I don't like just doing stuff for PR. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I yeah. Just, but I just see it matters. It. I just see it matters. It matters. It, it matters. matters. The optics, optics of yeah. it, <laughs> and, and you know we're about optics with the Knicks, if we're rightly or wrongly. <laughs> okay. So right. you know what I mean? I think by the news reports now about Knicks bench RJ Barrett and the rest of the league, like oh god, right. This franchise. Then, then you start yeah. the, the pressures the press on. Then, then it presses back I on the fist. I feel you on that. Yeah. It presses back on the fist. <sighs> I get what you're saying, though, about kind of alleviating the pressure off of RJ in the beginning. People forget, remember, Knox benched. Knox didn't start till. Really? I mean, uh, when, when was he? Was he? When did he, first, when did he first start? Knox took a while on the bench. Yeah, he took a while on Not the crazy bench. long, but yeah. Mitch, I mean, Mitch came in that Warriors game. Remember, that was his game. So right. both Mitch and Knox, who we talk about as a big young core going forward, both didn't start. You know what it's too? I feel like a lot of circumstance a lot too because Moody, Moody was injured. So Frank, um, I think Frank was playing a lot more. He, he and then he was, Frank early. was playing the 3 2. Yeah, yeah. He was so, playing the 3 2. Yeah, so injury's going to happen too. We didn't bring that up before, but right. you know, we're talking about this rotation. Injury's going to figure out a lot of this on for A lot yeah, of this yeah, stuff's yeah, going to yeah. happen because yeah. injuries, but. I think the one candidate to not start is Zo. I just do not see Zo starting. Nothing about his game, right. to be honest, but I just do not see Zo starting on this team with with Dennis Smith in the backcourt. I, I see Zo. I think Zo. I like it. I, I like Zo coming in and yeah, I just don't see him doing his thing. And like, like, there's here's the thing too. Like, there's gonna be balanced problems no matter who you yeah. kind of start. There's no perfect fit. There's, there's no, no yeah. perfect yeah. fit. Like, you there's can no kind of make a perfect fit for the starting five. Like if, you, if you do Dotson, like if, if, you're, if you're not going by talent, like you said, and by like PR, just like, yeah, yeah. if you're just going by this works for the balance. Mm. DSJ, Dotson makes sense. Just 
DSJ and Wayne Ellington make sense. Anybody can shoot at the two makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right? Anybody can shoot yeah, at the two. But then we'll, you got this crazy bench now. But, but then, right. yes. Where people Zobin, don't, yeah, who's so back on point? Be the like, what the hell's out, going man. on now? Somebody's right. going to be the odd man out. Yeah. Somebody's going to be the odd man out. There's a lot of people who need the ball to be successful. We have Alfred Payton who has to run the squad. and he, He's best suited um, swishing addition, not really shooting that much. Right. And the same thing could be said for RJ because now that spacing is going to be weird. If you have RJ and Alfred Payton coming together, it's going to be a clog there, it's too. Clogged, yeah. Two guys who need the ball in their hands. Right. Yeah. I mean, let me toss right. this one out. What about mm-hmm. Dot at the two, RJ at the three, Morris off the bench? Like, there's so many ways there's to so go. Many yeah. ways. So, so many ways. Do you guys feel like Morris? Right. I mean, Morris kind of outside of two, but do you see him starting 100%? Like, are you guys locked in? And it yeah. might tell you, like, oh, Morris. Mm. I think, like I said, for the trade value, I think mm. he should get the bulk in the beginning. Yeah. He's yeah. still early for Nas, right? He's still yeah. early, right? It's still mad early he, for him. He's only 19, exactly. now he's only 20. Yeah. You know I'm going to still say <laughs> It's still early, and I think we're still in the asset acquisition phase. Yeah. Right? Yes, we want to develop our kids, but I think Morris, number one, he's going to give you more balance. He's going to be a more consistent scorer for you. Uh, he's going to give you that maturity, a higher IQ. That defense. Defense. Yeah, so, you know what yeah. I mean? I feel like he's going to meld yeah. kind of. He's going to balance that lineup out a little bit. Plus, you're going to be looking to deal him at the deadline and try to get the maximum get more return. Yep. He's yep. the only guy on that team right now that's going to get you the highest return. If we're in playoff, if we're in playoff contention or an over, is he going to be moved? It, that You know what's going to be interesting? Him. I mean, Could I just say a little bit. We're going to get back to two guards yeah, soon, yeah. but it'll be interesting, man, because – this team's been so, you know, four, uh, how many? Three, 500 seasons since yeah. the year 2000. Yeah. We're desperate for anything. Right. I'm like, yes. you, Knicks fan, people think Knicks fans have these high and lofty things. Mm. Yo, we just want it. 41 and 41. We're having a parade on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, yeah. it's going to be interesting, you know, just even with the tour, everything. If we're in midseason and like something's cooking, you talk about Perry, Perry just like, oh, I love it. Right. Don't touch it. So, and the two guard rotation plays into that because where does Wayne fit? Yeah. Where does Zo- Yo, it's so right. many guys. Ellington's that's that's minutes. Think. Ellington's minutes are going to be crucial, especially when we yep. need a score. You yeah. know, when we're going to get into those <sighs> droughts. Yeah. You know, a lot yeah. of guys who are, yes, they're, they're, they're nice scorers. You know, um, ISO can do his thing. Dotson can do his thing. But, some, you know, we, we, we won 17 games <laughs> last year. It's a fact. Yeah. And y'all played, so, some of y'all played last year, man. Yeah, right. Man. Forget. <laughs> we, we won 17 games with these guys. So. ISO, man, can you, can, you, can you augment your game? Yeah. Can you be more of a spot-up shooter? Yeah. So they told him to work on this. This is what yeah. I was going to bring up about ISO, right. right? Like, he, you talk about his percentages last year, which are Amazing. insane. Yeah. yeah. But the reason they didn't feel insane is that he's very selective. Mm. ISO, though, you could almost seem like, like, you know how KD won't take the shot at yeah. the end of the quarter or mm-hmm. half because he doesn't want that bad three point percentage? Mm-hmm. ISO, Zoe, especially at the three point especially line. Especially at the three point line. ISO, ISO Zoe last year, you could definitely see, um, not that he was, because he, he's not hesitant at all, but he, he he's not going to just be gunning out there. Yeah. And I think the reason they brought that up is like if you can shoot, man. But did he shoot. actually he shot forty last year or like thirty? Yeah, forty, close, close, close to right. Close to 40, so if he's yeah. hitting that from three, I'm like, sorry, you gotta shoot more because his attempts. You look yeah. at his attempts last year; it's not did not much. justify what his percentage could have been. Now, so now the end of the season though, Fizz was telling him just that, and I don't know the numbers off off the top. But yeah, I, I'm, he I'm shot pretty sure forty-four percent, forty from three. I'm pretty. 40, sh- that's in crazy. For yeah, to a rookie. Yeah, yeah. so for, for people who be cracking, like I saw like forty from, from three is is, is damn. It's like. Damn good. Yeah. It's not just oh, yeah. it's so, damn good, man. Listen, <laughs> less ISO, more spot up. Then he's he's he, then he. You know what it is with him. That takes him from being locked in as a six man to oh, I can do stuff with this guy. Yeah, you know what I mean. So have that flexibility. Yeah, yeah. And he's he's been. Sh- I feel like he's been shooting more towards the end of that of the season too. Fizz, I, I definitely got in his ear. Cause I definitely saw him dribble less towards the season. Right. Just spot up from that um elbow three mm. like and a just lot. Bang, 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 bang. And it was still going in. That's the other thing too because. You worry about when people shoot more, the numbers go start to go down. Nah, he was still hitting. Yeah. So <laughs> hey, you know what? I, that's what I want to see. If that's if that's happening, that was what was really going on. And like I said, they told him to work on it, so you, they know they're seeing it. Because I could change ISO. So you know, I brought it before. I don't see him starting, but you know, if my guy is out here knocking down threes at that rate. You know, and really giving yeah. Ellington a run for the best shooter right. on the team. There's a lot there, but you know, at the it's two two guard spots, it's going to be God. ridiculous. But I also yeah. think that. Over the course of the season, not maybe maybe not in the beginning, right? But I think how RJ fits as a two is also going to be like a story within the story of that rotation because yeah. it's going to be like, is he a better fit as a primary ball as as more than one, right? You, you know what I mean? I yeah. wouldn't be shocked. RJ looked. We were there in, in Vegas, man. RJ started handling the ball more, being calm. He looked a different player. Yeah. When he was 
kind of, you know, trying to figure out where he fits in. You saw him struggling, mm-hmm. pressing, getting the ball, taking bad shots. Mm-hmm. When he's able to come up the court, gain his game. Yeah. He had some, yo, his pa- some of his passes to Mitch were on point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. veteran level, like, you know, touch on that post pass and everything or yeah. the lob. So, he, you know, yeah, RJ's, a, RJ's, the, yeah. RJ's really the big thing. You know, we talk about DSJ, and this is RJ's rookie year, so I want to put everything mm-hmm. on him. But RJ's the one we really need to hit. Yeah, we, he needs like, to We hit. need he him. Needs you know, we kind of got Mitch to. already in that half hit zone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, I also think we probably going a little crazy with the with the how much we expect of Mitch. Mitch I've been seeing that. Like, in, I think in stores now. Shout out to Mitch. Yeah. That's that's our guy. But that's because guy. we haven't had that's that, yeah. I got the RJ too. So we got Mitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's the two. To be honest, you look at yeah. the team, right? Not everyone's gonna hit, man. I'm telling you, people have been talking right. about oh this young core. I'm like, yo, most of these dudes getting traded at some point. But the but that's a part of the asset acquisition. That's the part. Yep. Thing. You know what I mean? Is some of these guys are going to help take you to the next level, and some of these guys are going to help take you to the next level. That they're going to bring in that guy that you know, can take that you can another take you, step yeah. higher. Yeah, so. I got to ask you guys this because mm-hmm. we're talking about the two guard spot. You got Dot. I brought this up earlier, right? So with drafting RJ, that cra- crazy log jam now. Mm-hmm. Dot and Trier, both free agents. I can't see the Knicks paying both. No, they're not. Mm-hmm. Gonna pay Even though Dot can play the three. Yeah, it's yeah. not really you what you want. It's more of an emergency thing. Yeah. Even though Zoka kind of played the one. Zach, that, that can't play the three. That, he can't play And the he three. can't really. Uh, no, you know, he, no. Last year he played a lot. I think even uh, rookie year he played it. But yeah, yeah. I feel like And Zoe, four, I don't yeah. like Zoe at the one at all. No. So, especially now that you really got like no, Dennis Smith. And I don't not. like it. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I feel like they, there's no, I don't see Perry. Because, you, you know, there's that point where guys go from a $2 million guy to like an $8 million guy. And like, right. do I want to pay me? <laughs> yeah. Or do yeah. I want to just get another second round pick? Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? So. Do, who stays? Who, yeah, who do you see? Do, who do you see? Who do you see between those two? Between Dot and um, Zo? No, Dot like, is twenty five too. Which right. is, I feel like they're gonna go. Like I love Dot, but I feel like they're gonna go with Zo. I think they go only Zoe. because I, they pers- yeah. they they. It's a thing when you draft a player versus this player was here. He's kind of like a holdover from right. other. Old hangover, right? Yeah, yeah. like yeah. they drafted Iso Zo. They picked. They but saw they signed him. him. Huh? Remember, it was after. Yeah, they yeah, signed. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's yeah I'm not just, drafted. Just, they signed yeah, un- him. Undrafted him. But <laughs> I, that, that makes it even more so why I feel like they're oh. going to go with him. Because yeah. they signed him. Out of anyone. Out, out, out of everyone. Yeah. And they got everybody else the hell out of here because they signed this guy who didn't expect to yeah. even do that I'm, well. I'm so. going Joe because I feel like you you kind of already know what Dotson's going to give you. I don't think he's going to get any better than he's he near already ceiling, is. Probably, I think he's nearing his yeah. ceiling. I think Zoe probably is capable of, of taking it up, like you said, an, a, another notch, especially if he becomes more of a spot up shooter, like you said. Change his uh, game. But with yeah. Zoe, my thing is too, Zoe, Zoe strikes me as someone who wants the, not just, the, I don't think just the money, but like mm. the role. Like, mm. see, yeah. if another team's like, yo, Zoe, you could start. He, I think he'd be like, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. a fact. Well, he should. Yeah, and yeah, he, he should. should. And that's his mentality. Yeah, you know, he even said in that. that athletic piece last year, he, he could throw, not like shade, but he threw a little bit of like, you know, they were supposed, you know, they told me I be I maybe getting drafted where Mitch was. Yeah, I'm like, right. so he's like, y'all passed on me too. He had, a, he had, yeah, he had yeah, that man. chip on his shoulder. He had that chip he's on his shoulder from the stuff. You know what I mean? He's gonna keep that in mind. But yeah. that two guard rotation, man, it's, it's the craziest heavy. one because it's the one where literally you could say everyone should play. Yeah, you know, you get to the point guard stuff, you could make the very good argument that like Frank. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. But you get to two and you're looking at RJ. That's a top three pick. Yeah, Zo showed himself last year. Yeah. Dot, mm-hmm. Showed himself for two years now, and right. especially last year, being consistent starting, and Wayne Ellington knocked down, right. and Reggie yeah. Bullock knocked Bullock down. If knocked down. Yeah. So I'm like, you can and play plays decent defense, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. like anybody right. who doesn't play from two guard position is kind of game dog if you think yeah. about it. Like, keep, keep unless they just kill. suck, you, know? you, you, you have kill, to, you have to expect the trade. At the Somebody day, gotta right? get traded. It has to be, you have yeah. to be a two, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah like, it has to be a two or a power forward. Like, but see, but then, but then it goes back to hold it. You gotta play to get traded. Right, I mean that last year was a big thing, right? Yeah. Remember Courtney Lee? That was a big yeah. thing before everything happened. You we were like, everybody was like, "We gotta get he Courtney has Lee to play. back. We gotta, gotta fatten him up. We gotta fatten him up." And it, it didn't never happen. It didn't, never, it didn't it happen. Never we had to end up, you know, KP ended up going with him. So, yeah, the two guard rotation, man, that's gonna be tough. It's it's so it's crazy too because it's tough on its own, and then you add in RJ right. as yeah. being not just the two guard, right. but the franchise savior on his back. Yo, I'm a Nick. Yeah. Everything that comes yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah the which is like we said, optics hit. matter. Yeah. The optics matter. So, you know, it's probably likely RJ starts, but it's going to be interesting because, you know, and RJ, RJ's play. Is he going to end up being more of a 1 2 right. or more of a 2 3? Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Man, I didn't want to. I'm mean, listening. I didn't want that job. It, you got it. Space, <laughs> man. Yeah, man. They're gonna have him bringing up the ball on fast breaks. I know that. Definitely. I, I, that's, I, I, Definitely. Yeah, that's that's physics. Nice as well.
I think it's Dotson, See, like you said. Yeah, yeah it, it makes sense, it. right? Yeah. In the RJ, in the beginning, I think it's, yeah. it's Dotson, like you said. And oh. RJ and DSJ worry me a little, but it's all about jump. Dennis, it goes back to Dennis, that yeah. jumper man. That jumper opens up. That jumper not only opens up him, it opens up who could play at Everybody, the two. Everybody, exactly. everything. Exactly. If DSJ jumpers hitting, everything I'm hundred percent starting RJ. I'm not even. Yeah, then right, it's not a right, big deal. Right, it's not a big right, deal. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, so he. Yeah. He unlocked so much, man. Yeah, she definitely yeah. does. Yeah, it goes back to DSA, man. If his jumper can fall, then it means they're going to have to respect him. It opens up the lane. You coming out to guard him at the three-point line, he can blow right past you. Got some lob all day. It it changes everything. Changes everything. It changes he was, everything and he was man. dishing and kicking last year. I mean, right. guys were bricking the shots. Guys were bricking. He was dishing yeah, and guys I'll keep bricking. saying, man, DSA is a better passer than people were Way giving on credit definitely, for, man. Definitely. Way definitely. That's definitely. the thing with him, too. Even with the defense, man, it's like, he can defend, but it's when he wants to beat the, when he yeah. wants to kill that guy. Right. DJ's right, right. a Rucker Park dude. You put him in Rucker, he's killing these dudes. Uh, Is he gonna want to do this on the road in Memphis in Utah? Yeah. yeah. When it's just him play, about the five guys, not just whoever right. he's against. Right. And not that he's selfish. It's just about his mentality. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah. he is funny. It goes back to him, man. He could unlock the two. Imagine he can. that. He Dennis Smith's play is gonna end he up kind of determining. It, 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 it everything, man. It's true. Yeah. So that two guard man. Oof. That's going to be something. 